filmed it. Boom! Blah, blah, blah. Some idea of uh, what just went down. This was from Wednesday, January 27th, 1230, U.S. military at the White House arresting Congress. And I'm guessing this was last night. Special operations units, including 4,000 deputized National Guard soldiers, remember they did that, acting as U.S. Marshals. And U.S. Marshals, remember, are the only ones that can arrest federal employees like the president. Yes, ma'am. Have served indictments on or were about to arrest 67% of Congress. Early Monday morning, January 25th, between 3 and 6 a.m., military vans, buses, and police cars, along with a multitude of police and military troops, were very busy at a blacked out White House. I just watched everyone in the White House arrested, declared an unnamed person do doing one of the two videos shown below. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's see, even though the mass media has refused to report it, the US has been functioning under martial law since Saturday, January 9th. An interim military U.S. government was actually running the U.S. and they saw President Biden as a treasonous agent. Well, of course, remember the act of 1871, right after the Civil War, we had no money and the Rockefellers, I think, pushed through, uh, you know, the bankers, the treasonous act of 1871 through Congress, which made the United States, uh, D.C. was a corporation and we've been operating as a corporation ever since. And so the District of Columbia is a foreign area right now. Correct. A few days before Joe Biden's inauguration and due to foreign interference in the 2020 presidential election, Trump had instigated the Insurgency Act, declared martial law and deferred his power to the U.S. military. So yeah, the military's been running things and they have not had communications with the Biden administration ever. I, I Correct. don't think they ever did that. Thank they did you. Point. They did back in December and then they stopped. Early Monday morning, 25th of January, between 3 and 6 a.m., a blackout occurred in Washington, D.C., around the White House. According to two separate videos taped at the scene, police and U.S. troops were everywhere in the darkness. Military vans, buses, and police cars pulled up to the White House, loaded passengers, took them down the road and across a bridge, and then some vans came back empty to do a repeat. Mustang medics rec recording showed many business buses and vans, some marked as military, entering the Capitol grounds. Several people were taped getting out of their cars, showing IDs to guards, and then walking into the grounds. When it was over and seemingly on cue, fireworks lit up the sky. Reports from those on the ground. All right, part two of the actual feed. You can see them all down in here. Like they're in a holding or a waiting chamber. Well, nobody hanging from the lamp. That's a good sign. But as we can see, police, police. Look at this. I'll get closer. I got a good TV. Police, 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 police. And now you understand these are certified U.S. Marshals. Because they have jurisdiction over D.C. police. And only U.S. Marshals can arrest a sitting federal government employee. In case you guys didn't know that, just thought I'd let you know. So that's why he deputized 20,000 U.S. Marshals out of the National Guards the other day. That's why when Trump was playing golf today and the reporter made a really wrong comment but all oh, made me so good in the morning because i was so upset with my birthday yesterday not from all my clapper friends because man i got so many happy birthdays i can't count them all i can i just want to say thank you but uh when trump was playing golf and the reporter asked him how does it feel not to